I wanted to show you this. This is, um, I took the clamps off and uh, really wanted to show you how nice and clean um, these finger joints turn out with that process. You can see that everything is matched up evenly and that's what you want. That means uh, there's going to be a lot less sanding on the finish side. Okay, so this is what we're going to need for today is a whole bunch of clamps. And uh, this fiberglass drywall tape. And two, we almost use up two of these, uh, the loose sight uh, glue. And then we have these long strips around 32 inches long. Uh, all this is set up to uh, secure the top to the bottom after we glue everything. Okay, so this is how the top looks. As you can see, uh, the fiberglass uh, tape goes across each, each of the bulkhead and then a strip of glue. We do that all the way down. You notice that um, also on the edges the glue goes. And what we do after this is uh, we just put the top on and we clamp it down. Uh, on the masking tape on the side here, we mark off, we'll get close up, we mark off where each of the bulkheads are. That way we know where uh, to put the uh, wooden struts and uh, clamps to make sure that it uh, puts it solid. Uh, the reason why we have this fiberglass is because what it does is it prevents the glue from slipping down the sides and stays on top so you get a nice seal. Okay, so this is how it looks. Uh, everything is clamped down all the way down to the ends. When uh, it comes to the front, we have to use the um, what do you call them? The tie downs. There we go. We use the tie downs in the front. And then at the end here, we just use clamps. Um, if you can see uh, in the middle, I will put a clamp and just uh, one of these uh, wood bars just to make sure that in between uh, it's sealing on the edge. And I do that all the way down. Now we just got to wait till it glues overnight. And we cut the edge off and we start uh, the finishing process.